This Authentic or Charlatan series focuses on popular YouTube influencers. Who is Dan Locke? He is a failing serial entrepreneur of 13 businesses. Then he came across sales copy letters and wanted to learn copywriting. After a few years of copywriting and internet marketing, Dan became a millionaire and then a multimillionaire. Now he has a large social media presence while proclaiming himself to be a business consultant and be the best high ticket sales consultant. He's created a persona centered around being the boss in the Bentley. Fancy cars, fancy suits, fancy living, private jets, you know, just the typical internet marketer. It's all an image to get you to buy into his BS. He's an internet marketer that gives vague business advice to get you to buy into a sales funnel so that he can sell you on his insanely overpriced internet marketing products. After I was making about 10,000 a month as a cop, as a young guy, 21, mm -hmm. so 22. So at, at your peak, your copy services are $10,000. $10,000, and I was working one client, couple clients per month. After watching hours of Dan Lok content, researching for this video, this was actually the first video I came across where there was any mention of being a successful copywriter. Well, let's assume it's all true, then I think it's fair to assume that he did make pretty good money as a copywriter. That's not out of the realm of possibility. Based on what he explained, he met the mentor at a seminar, started working for him and learning the trade of copywriting, and then began making 10K a month as a copywriter. Is this true? It might be. I think we can assume that it is. I think it's possible. Then he explains that he started his own copywriting company, and that's when he began making a lot more money. It seems like he got all of his first clients working for his mentor, Alan Jacques. Then he starts his own company and then immediately sees hyper success. That's a little bit of a red flag for me because he was working under this mentor and making pretty good money. Then all of a sudden he was able to start up his own company and using the same clients, using new clients. I have no idea. Then he saw this hyper success. Is that true? It's possible. I'm not believing it based on the level of success he's claiming. In a clip I'll play later, he said he accumulated 150K in debt. So in order to pay off his debt and become a liquid cash millionaire like he claims to be, in just a few years is extremely difficult. Especially in a business like copywriting where these clients of his aren't exactly creating a new product every single month. If you go out and land someone that's willing to pay you 10K for a sales letter copy, then you know obviously that's landing a big client, but you would need to do multiple of these clients every single month for multiple years on end to pay off this 150K in debt and become a multimillionaire. By going through his YouTube collection, I can see that by around this time is when he started to try and establish himself as a business guru. I think he was able to see how much money can be made on YouTube and selling courses through seminars at this time and saw that it was much more money than he could make as a copywriter. A big issue I have with this video is that it's titled, What I Learned Losing $2 Million, Three Best Lessons. But at no point in this video did he discuss anything about losing $2 million. Like most of his videos that you'll come across, it's all clickbait and mostly vague. And one of the biggest issues I have is he now claims to have lost millions of dollars but then also became a multimillionaire. So we're talking about in order to become successful on the level that he's claiming in just a few years as a copywriter, he need to lose a few million dollars and then also make a few. This is starting to seem a little sketch to me. He's branding and positioning himself as this business guru and business expert, even though there's very little indication that he's actually ran a successful business at all. If we take him at his word, at this point, he's only been a successful copywriter. But as I dug deeper, I'm not entirely believing that as well. And at the end of the day, he's just like every other social media charlatan. He focuses on some large net worth or income to build up a brand. He does it through social media and by building up a following, because a lot of people like following success, of course is that he's able to build up this following so that people can see that he's successful, even if it's just a characterized version of himself. And then at the end, when you have this following built up, then you can create some high-end course to sell all to these blind followers, and then that's where you make your real money. And essentially what happens with these people is that they will build up this image of themselves. They build up, imagine like a characterized version of themselves, this super financially successful person. And as they sell all these courses and seminars, they become the financially successful person and they basically morph into that characterized version of themselves. Charging 1,500 to 2,000 a month with local clients, how much do you want to be charging? Oh, that's, you know, I never actually thought of that before. Uh, maybe, you know, if I could get my retainer up to $2,500 a month, that would really help my profit margins for sure. Okay, and what's your cost of delivering the service? Uh, it's usually, you know, both 300 Uh Okay, how many clients do you want to be working with? Well, the goal is, you know, I think the first milestone I need to get to is 50. Notice how edited this video is, which makes it blatantly obvious how staged it is. This video has more jump cuts in it than he has followers. 
The conversation is set up perfectly to help Dan send out signals that he's this high value sales closer. It couldn't be any more scripted. Dan also has no sales calling experience, but now he's running a business around selling high ticket clients. To my knowledge, he only has success as a copywriter, which obviously is sales, but selling over the phone and cold calling situations is probably a lot different than being a copywriter. To me, it's still two different skill sets. When I watch these videos, I can't help but notice that it's very obvious that basically what Dan did is he read a lot of sales books, he came across Grant Cardone on YouTube, on social media, saw him killing it, and figured out that he could do the same because all of his videos are just generic sales advice that you'd find in $10 books at your local bookstore. So for, for two hours, I charge 10K. How do you feel about that? Listen to a sales pitch, 10K for a two hour sales call, that's insane. If you have any sales calling experience at all, you can tell that this is scripted right when you listen to it. It is, does not sound anything at all like anything that goes on in the real world. And here's basically what his high ticket closer program really is. Dan building up this YouTube channel based on deceit and then selling his followers on a very expensive program centered around sales. He's living his high ticket closing brand now, but sadly the only people buying in any interaction are his blind followers. To his credit, Dan Locke is a savvy marketer who has built up this character as this sales closer expert and this savvy businessman who runs all these successful businesses. But the only tangible success that I've seen that he's built up has been his social media following. But just like most charlatans on social media, they're only successful because their brand is predicated on some character that they built and the character itself becomes famous first. You ever notice how Dan only talks about how many successful businesses he runs, but he never shares any details about them. You never see any offices, you never see any employees. Take a minute to go watch Gary V videos, Gary Vaynerchuk, and see how transparent Gary V is. He's always in his office, he's got all these employees, he's got <laughs> so much content out there showing how much of a real businessman he is. And compare that to Dan Locke and you'll see how easy it is to see how fake Dan Locke is. We're on Dan Locke's LinkedIn. Let's do a quick look at see how successful Mr. Locke was. Let's scroll down to his history. And we start with TEDx talk in 2016. In 2015, he had a mentor mentor show. But again, this is all after he claims to have been a millionaire and super successful. Then we see a few different businesses or different jobs, I guess, that he started himself. He's the founder of Dan On Demand, a mentorship program. He's got this YouTube, Closers in Black, but I want you to notice the dates. 2019, 2018, 2018, the host of the Dan Locke Show. He was this YouTube celebrity. Notice how everything is so self-proclaimed. Even here in 2009, this is the earliest date we've seen. He was a real estate investor, even though he's mentioned nothing about real estate in any of his videos. But just look at all this, entertainer, TV host, YouTube celebrity. Um, and then if you look at the dates of these, we've got Dan Locke and I want you to really notice where in here is the success outside of YouTube. I don't see anything about his multi-millionaire copywriting success. I don't see any mention of that at all. And then all of these are 2019, closers.com, copywriters.com. You know, if he's claiming to run all these successful businesses, uh, maybe they're successful, I haven't seen any indication that they actually are. But just a quick look on his LinkedIn, is really raising red flags to me. Who doesn't love a rags to riches story? Every time I see anything about Dan Locke, it's self-proclaimed multimillionaire with no reason to believe he had a multi-million dollar net worth before social media started. In this rags to riches story, he never touches on how he became successful. He consistently brings up how he started 13 businesses and failed at all of them. Then he became a multimillionaire all of a sudden. He talked about how he went into crazy credit card debt and ran out of friends to ask for money. And this is where I think some of my insight into Dan Locke came out. Basically, when you come into a lot of debt, when you run up the credit cards like he says he did, you're gonna be willing to do whatever it takes to get out of that debt. He even said that he ran out of friends to ask for money, and I think once he started seeing the money he could make by selling courses and seminars and blowing up on the YouTube by creating this character of himself, he figured he could make a lot of money, which is generally what you wanna do when you're in a lot of debt. And another thing is he mentions that he had a really important mentor when he was running his lawnmower business, but in his interview with Omar in the Rags to Riches interview, he says that his first mentor came years later at the seminar, his copywriter friend, Alan Jacques, that I mentioned previously. To me, this is a little bit of a red flag. I mean, of course, with all the content he has online, there's probably going to be some type of consistency issues, but the fact that he is starting to sound a lot like Ty Lopez and Robert Kiyosaki raises major red flags to me. Go ahead, sell me this 
10. Everything about Dan Locke in his videos is just vague, simple, generic business advice. And on all of the videos, it sounds like he read a book or two and then makes a video about the concepts covered within the book. Nothing about his teachings comes from experience in my opinion. I've now watched a few hours of his videos just to prepare for this video and at no point have I felt like he runs an actual business outside of his social media funnel. And I know nothing about Dan outside of these videos, which is telling to me. A lack of transparency is usually a major red flag. Content creator, I don't teach, I don't charge my stuff. You guys know, all my stuff is free online. Here's Dan just a few years before realizing how much his blind sheep followers will pay for his courses. Because you don't have a particular program, right? I don't. Maybe in the future you will, I but... I will never have a program. No? No, I'll give all my stuff away. No, well, I do this. Mm. No, I have one. Actually, I'm going to take one of my, some of my programs from the past. I'm going to upload to YouTube that I charge thousands of dollars for. I just upload to YouTube. It's all free. That's what I'm planning to do, actually, next month. Because I don't need to make the fucking money from selling those types of shit. I make money growing my company. Why not package up a very simple sales course that you can find in any $10 book at your local bookstore and start selling it out to your millions of followers? Once you start seeing how much money this guy can make, that's, I think, when he changed his mind. Times your finances, 10 times your business, 10 times your marketing, 10 times your life. 10x. 10x your marriage, 10x the kids, 10x your time off. I want to leave you with this. His high ticket closer program is seven weeks long and costs $2,500. For seven weeks, you apparently learn all about how to sell high ticket clients on your services. The problem I have is that the people signing up for these courses aren't running businesses before signing up. They get sold that the course will help them learn how to have the easiest path to six-figure incomes by selling some magical high-ticket clients. So you learn some generic sales advice in the course, but when the course finishes, what exactly are you selling without any product or service yourself? Time to give Dan Locke a score. We have five criteria on a scale of one to 10. If the subject scores less than 25, then they are officially a charlatan. Above a 25, then they qualify as being authentic and trustworthy. First, we have authenticity, which is the truth behind what you share. I give him a three out of 10, 30%. I found a few inconsistencies in his speeches, multiple instances of straight up plagiarizing other internet marketers, multiple occasions of needing to really investigate if what he was saying was true, and the LinkedIn profile raised way too many red flags. Transparency, how much you share. I'm gonna give him a two out of 10, 20%. If you go through his catalog of videos, way too high of a percentage of his videos are really vague. It took way too long to figure out his story and not knowing anything about any of all of these businesses that he apparently runs keeps this score really low. Next is replaceability. This is your ability to replace the guru's info. I give him actually a one out of 10. 10%. None of his advice comes from experience, and you can easily find all of his sales advice in two to three of the most popular sales books. Grant Cardone and Jordan Belfort wipe this guy clean with their sales advice, and they offer basically everything you need to know for free or for a significantly lower price than high ticket closer. Next is belief in success. Am I a believer in this guru? I give him a three out of 10 for 30%. I think he had some marginal success as a copywriter, even though it was hard to justify my decision. It's very clear that his real financial success came from social media and funneling his following into his high ticket closer course, which is how he really became rich. Last, we have deception. How much are you negatively affecting your following? I give him a five out of 10, 50%. I have a feeling a lot of people get value from Locke, even if their efforts are misguided. They spend way too much money on his courses and are receiving advice from a charlatan. I can't deny that he has a huge following and I'm sure some segment of the sheep herd are improving their life with his mentality and the character that he's created. Dan Locke's total score is an 11 out of 50, easily making him a charlatan. To anyone watching this, please stay away from this clown. Hey everyone, thanks for watching and make sure to hit subscribe so you can follow along on my journey from zero to financial independence.